Today I'll be going over my NSB setup for tomorrow's Jordan 11 Legend Blues. So when you open up NSB, just head over to Create Tasks. I'm going to do foot sites first. So let's do Foot Locker. So the, the stuff I'm about to do for Foot Locker is exactly the same for Champ Sports, East Bay, and Foot Action. So if you're a beginner, just remember that those four websites are considered foot sites. So yeah, for the mode right here, always put it on smooth. Don't even, don't ever put it on mobile. So put it on smooth. The SKU, this is how you get it. Go to the Foot Locker website. Like I said, I'm doing the Jordan 11 Legend Blues that are dropping. I'm going to be going over men's sizes and grade school because those are the sizes I'm going for. So this is the men's, let's do men's first. <clears throat> so when you go down the product number right here, this is the SKU that you're going to want to copy into the bot. Just copy that in here. For sizes, um, if you want random, just leave it blank. Don't type anything in it. For me, I don't want a, like a size 15, 16, 17, and 18. I want a 7.5 through 14. So this is how you'll do it. You'll type in a number put a comma and then the next number no spaces no just nothing else just a number and then the comma so this is how you do it just like that for your billing just go to whatever billing you're using proxies at the moment I'm using oculus DC I have leaf residential Omega resis and Swift resis Swift I wouldn't recommend right now because it hasn't been working for me Omega the same thing um, Oculus DC and my Leaf residential proxies have been working the best but yeah those are just what I'm using at the moment so let's just say for example I'm using Oculus advanced for foot sites I usually just leave it alone I don't click on it at all but if you're wondering I know a lot of people in NSB like to do 3000 for both like that or they like to do 3333 for each like that but like I said I don't even click on it the, the default settings if you don't click on it is 3500 for both so yeah so I just leave it unclicked schedule task um, NSB always says to start it five to ten minutes before the drop so I live on the west coast so our drops are at 7 a.m. so I'm gonna start it at 650 and it's soft capture don't even click on that so that's how you make a task for Foot Locker like I said, it's the exact same thing for Champ Sports, East Bay, and Foot Action, but I'll do East Bay just so you guys can see. So as you can see on East Bay, the sizes are the same. The SKU, which is the product number, is the same also. So yeah, that's probably that's most likely going to be the same for all four of those websites. So yeah, sizes it's already saved in there. But yeah, that's basically how you do it for those four websites. I'll get the grade school code just in case you're following my setup. Here's the grade school. Here's the skew. The grade school and men's. In case you don't know, the product number is going to be different. So just make sure you're doing it right for those. I'm on East Bay already. So for grade school, the sizes I like to go for is six through seven. So I'm gonna type that in like this. So yeah, that's how you make the task for grade school. I'll go back to Foot Locker just to see if it's the same product code for grade school. Most likely is for all four websites, but I'm just gonna confirm it real quick. So yeah, it is. So I'll go to Foot Locker now. So there, I've already made my task for Foot Locker and East Bay for both men's sizes and grade school. Like I said, it's going to be exactly the same for Champ Sports and Foot Action, so I'm not going to go over to those. But yeah, that's how you set it up. <clears throat> so now I'm going to head over to some Shopify sites, because Shopify sometimes can be a bit confusing to set up. So I'm going to do Shoe Palace first. For Shoe Palace, 
for any mostly most Shopify sites you would have to do cyborg cyborg 3.0 and then there's a link that you could get a variant that's kind of like the product number and then if they don't if you can't find those you're gonna do keywords uh, so I'll show you how to do most of those so let's head over to shoe palace look for the shoe that you're wanting to buy so yeah let's do the men's first so if you're able to click on it like that like when you're, you're actually able to bring up the shoe you'll see what I mean later on when you can't because um, DTLR you can't do that but yeah here you could just literally click on the shoe go on this page and copy the link into the bot you would copy that into there here the link and that'll be the that's the easiest way you could do it for um, Shopify sites. So if you're allowed to do that, then do it that way. Sizes, like I said, I don't want to go for anything above 14. So I'll do seven and a half all the way to 14. And then for Shopify sites, um, everyone always recommends using no proxies. A DC proxy or ISPs. Um, I'm gonna do no proxy for Shoe Palace, and for another Shopify site like DTLR, I'm probably gonna do my Oculus DC. For advance, for the delays, um, for Shopify, I like to lower it to three thousand for each. Schedule task. Um, they used to say started two minutes before, but now they're saying for some. Shopify sites start at five minutes before, so I'm just gonna start at 6:55. Require login. You don't really need that for Shoe Palace because you don't have to have an account. Force captcha. Sometimes they say click on it. I I just leave it blank, but that's really up to you. So that's how you would um, do the link for Shopify <clears throat> for variant. You can see right here it says variant equals and then there's a number. If you wanted to do a variant, here's how you do it this way. Just copy that right here. So that's how you would do a variant style for Shoe Palace. It'll pick up the same shoe. So for keywords, if there's no link and no variant, the uh, keywords you would have to put in some words from the name. Don't just put Air Jordan 11 or the bot will go for any product with the words Air Jordan 11 in it. So you have to be as specific as possible. So here's how I would do it. I'd probably... So let's say you're on this page. And you can't click on it. So yeah, I would do something like Air Jordan 11 Low Legend Blue. And, and then if you want to go for men's and not like grade score toddler you would do minus grade when you put minus in a word that makes sure the bot doesn't go for any product with the word grade in it so you would do minus grade minus school minus grade school minus toddler so you could just be as specific as possible just to be safe so I'll probably I would do something like this for the keywords yeah so that's how you would do that for keywords so here I have the link a variant and then the keyword examples I would if you have all three I would really recommend you just using the link so I'll just leave it like that but yeah let's go to the grade school one so here's the link for this just copy that into the link Sizes, like I said, I like to go for six through seven. So that's how I would do my task for a shoe palace. So now let's go to a different Shopify site. Like I said, I want to do DTLR now just so you can see what I mean by not being able to click on the shoe. <clears throat> so here's the 11s. What I mean by you can't click on it, you can't click on it and then it'll show up the page like Shoe Palace did where you could copy the link. So when that happens, you have to do keywords. 
So for this, you can see, you can't see the fully, but you can see it's going to say like Legend Blue or something. So for, oh, for us. So first, let's go to DTLR. Cyborg 3.0. Keywords. Let's go Jordan 11 Low. Let's put a retro in there. 11 Low. Legend Blue. Or let's put Legend because I don't know if it'll have the word blue in it. It should, but we want, we want to be able to make sure it's going to pick up the shoe. So Jordan Retro 11 Low. Minus grade school, minus preschool, minus toddler. So we can make sure it picks up the men's sizes if you're going for men's. So I'd probably do something like that. That's not, I'm not 100% sure it would pick up the shoe like that, but I mean, it should. But yeah. But NSB um, posts the keywords in the Discord about day before, if not the night before. So that's why I wouldn't really recommend doing mine. I would just do the Discord. But for some reason, you're not in the Discord. That's basically how you would do it for keywords. So yeah. So that was for the men's sizes. So like I said, seven and a half through 14. You guys already know what I mean. So I'm just gonna stop it right there. And like I said, Shoe Palace, I am running with no proxies. So for DTLR, I'm gonna go with Oculus DC. Don't run too many websites and tasks with no proxy or else you'll get your proxy banned. And yeah, that's how you pretty much do DTLR. Let's do Shop Nice Kicks now, because I know that's a popular Shopify site people like to bot. I believe you could, yeah, you could click on the shoe here, so that's good. So you just basically copy the link, makes it a lot easier to bot. I just copy the link in here. Cyborg 3.0 sizes. I'm gonna do um, Oculus DC with these. So yeah, once you get the hang of it, it's pretty easy to set up tasks. So yeah, there's the um, foot sites and then three different Shopify sites. But yeah, that's how you pretty much set up your NSB tasks for the Jordan 11s tomorrow. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to DM me on my Instagram at jcresells559. Uh, I'm most I answer back to pretty much everyone, so I've been getting a lot of DMs from you guys. I've been answering all your guys' questions, so just keep it coming. I don't mind helping. If you don't have an Instagram, feel free to leave it in the comments. I'll try to answer that as soon as I can. But yeah, if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please do that. Like the video, and if I hit if I could cop some pairs tomorrow, I'll be posting a live cop of that. If you don't see me post a video, that most likely means I didn't hit on any. But yeah, good luck on tomorrow's drop. I hope you guys are able to cop some pairs. Um, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.